that's a good thing. But this will be Larry's second year though. And looking forward to traveling with him again and looking forward for him to stay away from the field of secret for this year. <laughs> This next gentleman, he was scheduled to go on the very first ride with us. Uh, work kind of got in the way and he was unable to make the adventure with us. So, three years later, here he is. This will be his first ride. Uh, retired police officer, great friend, but one slight problem being that he was going to go that first year. Rick Stinson, come on up here. fortunate enough to go on that first year that we went where we had a group that he was going to have a gold badge. Now he gets a rookie badge. Now he gets a rookie badge because this is his first year, so he graduates to a silver badge now. Like I said, you know, I've said a thousand times before, when you get 12 guys together, the maturity level drops down to about 12 or 10. And that's kind of obvious the way that you see this going from here. Um, our next gentleman, also a retired police officer, he is the one that will be riding the trike. And we have to give him a hard time because obviously it's his first year and plus he's riding the trike. <laughs> But Ray Echol, uh, he's got an incredible sense of humor, though, right? You know, and he's not. Well, I don't know. Are you older than James? You're not older. No, no, he's not. But you know, you're a rookie and not the oldest. So, but Ray's uh, everywhere I've been. Ray's been out beating the streets and talking about this ride. So I mean, it's something about the older guys that are able to get out there and just really communicate with people and, and explain what this trip is about and I don't see it being any different with Ray. You know, we have a rule if at the end of the day we stop for dinner and somebody drops the bike, an adult beverage has to be bought by that person for all the other riders. Well, obviously, Ray can't drop his bike. So, we may an adaptive rule for Ray. If he drops his helmet, then he has to so, But Ray has to. This is a guy that I was introduced to because he was a patient of my dad's. And, you know, like I said, every year I meet somebody brand new. And Butch is Butch Thomas from the Butch. He's filming that. And he's like both for our patients and my dad. And I'll talk to dad, you know, about meeting at least one more rider. And he said, well, I know a guy. So I get a phone call from Butch, and here he is. <laughs> he decided to go. So, you know, Butch, we tried to warn you, but, you know, you're in for uh, an adventure. And we're looking forward to creating the brotherhood of the Miracle Rider for you, Butch. And I'm sure by the end of the two weeks, three weeks, you'll uh, get right in with this whole motley crew behind you. But Butch Thomas. And I always have to say Brian for last. I don't know why. <laughs> so, uh, I ride around town in a bunch of different places, and obviously I have a passion for motorcycles. And I always saw this motorcycle sitting in front of me. It didn't matter what the weather was. It didn't matter if it was hot. It didn't matter if it was raining. It just didn't matter. That motorcycle was always sitting there. So I go into the building, and I think, I just need to meet the person that rides this motorcycle. So I met Brian Brock. I talked to Brian about the ride a little bit, and Brian was, yeah, I would, I would love to go on that ride. I mean, that would be like a bucket list for me. Only one problem. 
<laughs> I got to ask my wife. Well, that's understandable. We all had to ask our wives. Yeah. I told them not to worry because the wives think of it as a 21 day vacation. <laughs> Brian was, Brian was a little apprehensive about doing this, asking his wife. He wasn't apprehensive about the ride. <laughs> so he gets his son. I think he had talked about increasing his allowance or something. He said, go ask mom if it would be okay to go on that trip. <laughs> son had no part of it. So Brian breaks down and does ask first thing out of her mouth. He said, God, that'd be great. Please go. <laughs> so... We have Brian Brock that brings a whole lot to the table. Uh, he's, like I said, with the Granger Group. And the Granger Foundation really jump-started our fundraising this year. We got several stops throughout the country where we're going to meet with different Granger folks. And it just brings a whole new element into our group. And we're proud to have you riding with us also, Brian. <laughs> 